Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. So today we will learn chapter 3 hypothesis testing. So previously you have learned in chapter 2 confident interval. You want to find a parameter interval estimation between two variables A and B. Alright and then in chapter 2 you have four parameters to be concerned. So similar in chapter 3 you will have the same parameters to be concerned. So, this is the content of the chapter. Uh, sorry, this is the expected outcome. Okay, you can see that you must know. Uh, test the population mean when the population variance is known or unknown. And then different between population mean. Okay, and then you have dependent sample. So, here you also will have mu, mu d. And then you have proportion, variance, and standard deviation. Lah. Alright, so again, in this uh, chapter, you have mu, you have proportion, you have variance, you have standard deviation. Okay, so this is the content. So 3.1 until 3.10. So in this video, we try cover 3.1 and 3.2. Okay, alright. So what is hypothesis testing? So hypothesis testing, okay, is a... Uh, uh, a test that we do for population. I mean, we want to see either the population is true or not, okay, based on hypothesis testing. And then we use sample uh, to check and then we look. Is it true or not? Is it uh, accept or not? Okay. So, many problems arise among statistics or engineer are related to a data-based decision procedure. And then, then can be produced a conclusion about the statement of population. For example, I want to say that uh, Malaysian salaries average is greater than 5K. Alright, so that is a statement. So I want to see either this one is true or not. Is it uh, true or false? Okay, and how we check? We use sample and test. Okay, so the decision is made based on statistical decision making process in evaluating the claim or statement about the population. And just now I mentioned lah, I mentioned that the, the mean aver the average salaries for Malaysia is greater than 5k. So that is a statement. Alright. So in scientific term, statistical hypothesis is a statement or conjecture or assertion concerning a parameter or parameters of one or more population. So in hypothesis testing we only have one or more pop one or two population, okay? But the overall statement hypothesis can be more than one population. Okay, parameter we constant in this class. Again, we only concern about mu, population variance, population standard deviation, and proportion. Okay, and hypothesis testing, the procedure, okay, in order to this this upper this decide. Uh, evaluate the statistical hypothesis, we have three methods. We have traditional method, we have confident interval method, and p-value method. Okay, so today we'll go for traditional approach first lah. Confident interval approach, actually you done, you calculate in chapter 2, but here you will do some uh, extra things to check either the hypothesis is true or not. And then p-value, we will use uh, Excel to solve, alright? So this is example 3.1. A scientist may decide on the basis of experimental evidence whether drinking coffee increases the risk of blood pressure in human. So if you look at the sentence, there is a statement there. The statement say that if we drinking coffee, okay, if we drink coffee, okay, it increases the risk of blood pressure. So that's the hypothesis. Drinking coffee increase uh, that's the keywords the risk of blood pressure in human so we want to see is it true or not that's why we do the hypothesis testing and then number two an engineer might have to decide on the basis of sample data either there is a difference between the accuracy of two kinds of device or not so here you can see the statement this they want to see either there, there is a difference between the accuracy of two kinds device or not so the keywords here difference difference between what the accuracy of the device any device lah. so but here you must look that the statement here uh, is a hypothesis 
Okay, because we in previous uh, slide we see hypothesis is a statement or conjecture or assertion. Okay, that we want to check. Uh, in this case, uh, it's a statement here. Uh, drinking coffee increases the risk of blood, and then the other one there is a difference between the accuracy of both devices. Now, this is the term of definition. Okay, in order for you to do the hypothesis testing, you must know the terms and some definition which is new for you. So, definition one, a null hypothesis. So, null hypothesis, what is it? It denotes by H null, like this. Okay? It's a statistical hypothesis that states an assertion about one or more population parameters. So, it's a statement that mentions about a population parameter. Okay? And then, alternative is the, the other way around. Okay, the, the opposite of the H null. So here, how to write is like in the box here. Uh, for hypothesis, okay, for actually this is will be your step one. Step one is uh, write down the hypothesis testing. So you must have H null and H1. So there are three types of hypothesis testing. You have two tail, right tail and left tail. So if you look here, you have H null. All right, theta is a is a general uh, uh, general notation, but this one it will be mu variance, standard deviation, or proportion. Uh, this one there are many other keys lah. Okay, there are other keys, but in here we show you the general one. So theta equal to theta naught. So theta naught is a hypothesized value. It's a value. It can be zero. It can be twenty. It can be any numbers. Alright, so here we call it two tail test because you look H1, you have unequal. Okay, so here it's important. At H now, you must have equal sign. For example, you look two tail, you have equal. Right tail, you have less than equal. Left tail, you have greater than equal. So at H now, you must have equal sign. And this one is right tail. How do you know it's right tail? Look H1. Is greater than so when it's greater than it will be right tail on your right and then if you have left tail it will be less than so it will be on your left do you remember in chapter one you learn the distribution isn't it so here if you have two tail you have left and right area so if you have right tail you will have right area if you have left tail you will have left area this area is very important okay you will look later on and here it will be parameter okay parameter again i mentioned to you it can be any parameter that you learn and we focus only this form okay so now we move to this common phrase of hypothesis so usually the statements come from the question. Okay, so this is the words that you must be alert. For example, if the question is is not below, right? So what is the notation? Is greater than equal. You have the equal signs. If the question I uh, say is exceeded, so it will be greater than without equal sign. So you can see when you have equal sign, you will write down it at H now. When you have none equal sign, you will write down it at H1. So here, uh, a little bit you must remember or understand. Okay. So again, how do you know it's at H0 or H1? Looks the keywords from the question. For example, is higher than. The word is higher than. If you, if you change to mathematical notation, it will be greater than. Any equal sign here? No. So if no, where should you put at? H1. Alright? So now look this exercise 3.1.1. So state the null and alternative hypothesis for each conjecture. So A. A researcher thinks that if expectant mothers use vitamin pill, the birth weight of the babies will increase. So you can see that from this statement, if the mother uses vitamin pill, the birth weight of the babies will increase. So the keyword is increase here. So in previous report, Okay, we didn't know when is it. Okay, the average birth weight of the babies without consumption of vitamin pills is 3 kg. So here, you can see, they're concerned about average. Okay, this one also the 
the keywords. You can see from here, what is the parameter they're concerned about. So in this case, they're concerned about average. Okay, from the first sentence, you can see they mention if you use vitamin pills, the birth weight of babies will increase. Okay, and the previous report mentioned the average birth weight of the babies without pill, 3 kg. So you can see from the second statement, average will be mu because it's from previous report. You didn't know is it sample or population, but it's previous report we consider is a population. So we consider average is mu and then without pill, it will be 3 kg. Alright, so now write down your h null and h1 so it will be h null h1 here so here we concern about mu all right and then what is it the keywords here increase isn't it that's mean when you have vitamin pills it will be greater than increase so is it equal sign or not no so it will be at h1 so increase then what increase then without consumption pill lah it will be 3.0 kg here. Alright, so this is the claim. This is the statement that we get from the question. So, h null will be less than equal 3.0 kg. Alright, so that is answer for A. Now for B, an engineer hypothesized that the mean number of defects can be decreases in a manufacturing process of compact disc by using robot instead of human for certain tasks. It is known that the mean number of defective discs by human is 18. So again, if you look here from the first sentence, the keyword is mean. Alright, can be decreased. So decrease will be less than a manufacturing compact using robot instead of human. It is known that known the mean number of defect is 18 again the keyword is mean and it's known it will be mu okay this one will be 18 okay so what is your h null and h1 your still we concern about mean it will be mu but here the mean number of defect will be decrease your less than with the equal sign so it will be less than how much how many 18 all right defective so here will be greater than equal 18 so this is the claim all right so now question number c i want you to try your own and then look uh, do you get the answer or not do you understand or not so the keywords here will change okay will change so what is it is it equal greater than less than or what and then they're concerned about what again about mean so again the parameter will be mu all right so try your uh, try answer question number c though and then uh, ask your lecturer is it true or not is it uh, is it correct or not all right so i think that's all for this video thank you class